Quantum physics is certainly mysterious, and I am not arguing against the notion that, as yet, it is the best explanation of the micro-world that we have. Yet, it is a theory which has been heavily abused by the quantum mystics, who, ironically enough, harbour an anti-science attitude. What philosopher of any calibre would explain the inherent incomprehensibility of his theory, and then go on to explain his authority to fully comprehend it? Or what theorist of any kind would be completely certain of a theory with absolute uncertainty at its base? Mathematical and philosophical, and to be honest, I didn't really understand all those arguments. Quantum theories of mind are becoming increasingly popular among the lay audience, and yet largely remain the subject of ridicule in the academic arena. I think there's bound to be some questions on that. You seem to have enraged just about everybody. Uh, f as from a physics perspective, I think everything you said is nonsense. Um, Rich. And maybe I'm being too polite. So, why the disconnect? You are told that a secret truth is the foundation of our material world, of our conscious experience, and of our transcendental free will, even the possibility of immortality. The rabbit hole and how deep and how far we want to go is really how far, how much do you want to discover about your true nature? Better still, you, the observer, are at the very center of your own universe. You are the master of your universe, your very own God. The quantum mystic offers you divine revelation and secret truth, hidden by the facade of everyday experience. But do not be fooled by his grandiose fast food enlightenment and anti-scientism. The so-called facts used to support this hypothesis are speculative at best, and the theory itself is monumentally erroneous. Now you're telling me that somehow the universe has what exactly that corresponds to my idea of justice. Uh, so, we do seem to be exploring some fairly far-flung regions of hypothesis space today. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, it seems to me that what you said is that gap junctions are required for the generation of the gamma oscillation, and that the gamma uh, oscillation I, 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 is the neural correlate of consciousness. So, if this is what you're saying, then it's extremely easy to test, and in fact, this test has been performed hundreds, thousands of times every day. The test that you would perform is to administer a drug other than an anesthetic that also has the side effect of blocking gap junctions and look at the effect of administering this drug on consciousness. Um, well, the drugs that they use for prophylactics against malaria, the quinine and quinine derivatives, are extremely potent gap junction blockers. They get into the CNS and they have dozens of kind of horrible effects on people's um, psychology ranging from delusions to outright psychosis, but they do not uh, coincide with loss of consciousness. Is this consistent with your theory? Quantum theories of mind display a contempt for functionalist or materialist views of the universe. But what is quantum physics if not itself an explanation of the material world? They attack materialist views as being too reductionist, and then go on to assert that we can understand the nature of consciousness by understanding the behavior of the very smallest observed elements within the material world. Do not be seduced by the claims of the quantum mind theorist. At best, his theories are egocentric, at worst, entirely solipsistic. Quantum theories of mind do not dispel the ego, but reinforce it by offering us empty promises of eternal life, free will, and godlike prowess. When all quantum physics truly shows us is the seemingly randomistic behavior of subatomic particles, how free will arises from dice throwing is anyone's guess. Uh, quantum consciousness can save the soul. By During my research on popular quantum theories of mind, I decided to use what the bleep as a quintessential example of the half-truths and mystic pseudoscience assumptions of certain interpretations of quantum theory. To my utter disbelief, I discovered the movie wasn't just a popularized sensationalist version of quantum mind, but nothing more than cult propaganda. And today, renegade scientists are meeting with religious leaders. Conferences pushing forward a meeting of science and spirit are springing up as the 20th century blew open the doors of a mechanistic view. Will the 21st century blow down the iron wall between the church and laboratory? Many of the so-called professionals featured in the film belong to a cult called the Rantha School of Enlightenment, which believe Jay-Z Knight is able to channel an ancient warrior god called Rantha, 
who bestows ancient esoteric wisdom on all who follow her teachings. Do not drink the quantum Kool-Aid. Um, um, I think the experimental method, which is important to physics, is a very different business from the method of revelation or the method of meditation um, or something like that. I don't think it's true that, for example, um, adherents of, say, Buddhism um, um, could imagine changing their beliefs based on the outcomes of, of some experiments people do with electrons.